Hi, my name is Anis and I will give you a simple tutorial to navigate Pursat's DTS, the Devotees Trading Simulator. When you first log in, you will be presented with this default workspace which includes key modules such as course monitor, chart and price ladder. First, I'll show you the sidebar icons on the left side. This is the default workspace. You can click on it, you can rename or add another workspace which you can customize and also these different modules that you can add on your workspace and on top we have um, this section here which will show you um, your activities and this uh, is where you can change your modules to rearrange them in different ways such as putting them in grid or auto arrange and stack them you can also close all your modules you can externalize them and you can restore a module if you accidentally close them all right um, this is your account and you can change uh, the modes here and in this help button you can get more into more detailed tutorial and you can contact QSC support team or to report any issues with the platform which will include the logs or our checking okay on this workspace as you can see there is quotes monitor this is where you track real-time price movements of um, Bursa's futures and options contracts as you can see here um, you can change um, the columns if you want to display or hide them by going here select columns and you can hide or display or rearrange them To add a symbol, you can double click here and put in your symbol and click or if you don't remember, you can click here at instrument lookup and <coughs> you can select the instrument type, futures or options and filter according to categories. Mm, you can go ahead and select either one or multiple contracts and hit apply and then here you can place an order by clicking S for sell or B for buy and then yeah you can change the quantity um, the price and then the lifetime we also have contingency iceberg for time you can go ahead fly place that order okay the market is closed <laughs> um anyways moving on to the chart module um chart helps you to analyze price trends from here you can change the display to bar chart candle as lines or area then you can change um, the time frame resolution by ticks intraday daily weekly and so on you can zoom in and out oh, sorry zoom in and out and or you can use your mouse Um, and then we also have indicators, different indicators here. And we also have chart tool which you can right click and select chart tool. And we have different um, drawings that you can choose. And then to place an order, go to the right side of the chart and there's a guide here to uh, left click is to buy and right click is to sell at a certain price 
Next, we have a press letter module or depth of market that shows um, live bid and ask levels for selected contract. It's usually um, used to quickly place trade when market is moving at fast uh, pace. We have uh, three different data display here. We have implied, outright, and combined. On top of the press letter, there are buttons for different order entries, such as flat, market here to offset your position, reverse order, um, buy and sell at market for limit, and then you can cancel your orders. Right. So next, we will move on to account information, which you can click here. And for account information module, we have three tabs. First one is is OPM, which is order and position monitor, where you will see your orders and current positions, your profit and loss for the day, and so on. You can change the currency to. Um, right now it's USD and I want to change it to Ringgit so I'll choose this mm. uh, you can filter what you want to see um, I don't want to see my rejected order so yeah so I collapsed the filter and it's applied mm. next is account information where you will see your balance uh, your margins uh, and so on in the account summary it will visualize some of your account information in the chart in a chart bar or pie chart which is you can choose here the chart type um, you can customize them and have different values if you want That's it for this tutorial, good luck and happy trading!